Okay, Minx, how is the heart rate after that? Has it come down since that game? It's, it's come down probably because we've forced it down. Um, but I think that's what we've sort of taken today to is just to recover, um, refocus and sort of, yeah, come down from that, from that high and that feeling that was absolutely immense um, after, you know, after the last penalty was taken. Um, but yeah, I think we're at a point where we can refocus for the next game. Just talk us through those moments that you were able to reflect. Can you quite believe how that game played out? Um, th I guess from the first whistle, no. You'd, I always had a feeling sort of, um, you know, watching from the bench that we were in control of this game and this was going to be our game. Um, and I think as time went on, I sort of, none of us really lost belief in any of that. I think we were still on track, working just as hard as, as um, we were in the first minute. And I think um, we kind of knew that we had that resilience to see it all the way to the end. And, and yeah, I guess that's, that's what happened with 20 penalties. Well, we saw you come on and have a crucial moment in that game, but what, at what point did you know you were going on? Was that a planned moment to come on and be a part of the penalties? Or when did you know, I'm going to need to step up here? Um, I think throughout, throughout the training sessions leading into the game, I think um, everyone, whether you know you're going to start or you're a game changer, I think you, we always sort of prepare with that mindset that we will go on and that we, we will have a job to do um, and just to be ready for that. Um, and I think it's also something that you need to, especially if you're a game changer on the bench, you need to be switched on from, from the first whistle and see what's happening on the field, see how you can influence it um, and sort of, um, I guess, feel the game whilst you're not in the middle of the game. So I think all of us have done that really well on the bench, um, whether you've stepped on the field or not. Um, and honestly, I kind of didn't think about all the pressure and, and sort of what number penalty I was and what, what it actually meant. You know, if, it, if I'm outside the first five, that means it's not like I actually didn't think about any of that. And I purely just focused on if I'm taking a PK, what's my PK look like? Um, and I think that really helped because, yeah, I guess now looking back on it, um, if I had let any of that pressure in, it could have been a different story. So, um, yeah, I think just the way we've prepared for the games leading into it um, has really mentally and sort of emotionally um, helped us really stable. Can you take us inside that very moment that you're walking from the halfway line up to the penalty spot? Because if you're Courtney Vine, you're, going, you're picturing in your mind, I score, we win. For you, the polar opposite of that. You miss, you're out. How do you control that image and turn that into, there's a job that needs to be done? Talk us through the emotions you were going through. Um, well, for me, I didn't, I didn't sort of let that thought come into my mind at all. Um, for me, it was just, it was just I wanted to, to score. I wanted to do my best. And I wasn't really thinking of the end result of if I scored, what does that mean? Or if I missed, what does that mean? I think I was just focused on like doing that kick itself and, and not the end result or not the consequence of what would come after it. And I think that really helped um, me focus and not sort of lose track of, you know, putting one foot in front of the other. Um, so I think that was definitely something that um, I think it really comes from a mental more of a mental perspective as just to how can you block all of that out and um, on the day I was able to do that. Well you're the ultimate professional in a textbook finish but can you talk to us a little bit about Mackenzie Arnold and her performance in that penalty shootout? Yeah I think that was a stellar performance for her and and I think when you when you look at players that have to take the kicks and you know what number order you are and all that kind of stuff Maka doesn't really have that luxury. She's got, I need to focus on this kick, now I need to focus on this one. And she's just rolling from one to the other. You can't look back and reflect on the one that's just been, you need to move forward and you need to be in that moment. And she had a lot of moments. Um, and I think it's just a credit to her and her game. A lot of emotions, different emotions were being felt in the stadium across the country. For me personally, being on commentary, I said multiple times that I felt, I felt quite sick. Were you feeling sick during those times? Is it, how do you control the actual nerves as you're looking down the line saying, wow, this is sudden death and I'm up very soon? Um, honestly, I, I think it was just blocking all of that out. I think I knew I already had the support of my teammates. Um, we've trained together for so long. We've practiced these scenarios. Um, we were really making sure that we were sticking together as a team. Um, so I think having that support and 
yeah, just being able to focus on your own your own kick, your own save, um, and not letting outside pressure come into it um, goes a long way to yeah avoiding those nerves and those sick feelings, um, which does make the end the last the last kick to celebrate. I guess that much sweeter when you can finally open up and relax and and just enjoy what's happened. And how many times have you actually watched that moment, the the, the final kick going in? Have you watched the whole shootout again? How have you taken it in since? Um, I think I've seen the, you know, 20 goals in 30 seconds. Um, but to be honest, I, I haven't gone back and, and watched it in real time because I don't think we realised at the time how long it actually took and um, how long it does take to walk to do that walk down to the penalty spot and, and also back. Um, but I think from a team's perspective, we kind of just take all the really good moments out of it um, carry that sort of energy and, and move into the next game. Well, on to the next game. You've got England, an enormous match, the biggest in your life, I would imagine. How um, are you guys recovering? Because it's quite a quick turnaround and it was a really high intense game for 120 minutes. Have, have you had enough time? Will you have had enough time come Wednesday? Yeah, I think so. I think recovery has always been a major focus f um, for this team. And I think we've done a lot, a lot of hard work um, just over the last two years, but also when we came in um, for the pre-camp as well. We did a, a lot of hard work and that also meant that we needed to focus on recovery then as well. So I feel like for us, we've, we've done similar scenarios um, pre-tournament to what we're experiencing now. So um, in terms of physical recovery, I think we're, we're ticking all the boxes and, and also that mental recovery as well. I think we've set up an environment that um, allows us to recover mentally and emotionally as well. Have you had a chance to watch their game against Colombia yet? And, and what do you think the challenge England will bring? Yeah, um, we watched it live. I think we, we've watched almost every game that, that we can as, as a team. And um, we all love football, so, so it's exciting to be able to watch the other games. Um, and I think England, England are class and um, we're into the final four teams at, at a World Cup, I think every team deserves to be here and, and every team is going to be just as competitive as the next. So I think no matter who we came up against um, in the semi-final, it's always going to be a tough game and we're looking forward to it. And final question, either way, this will be the best result the Matildas have ever had. How is the mood inside the camp leading into such a big game? Yeah, I think today has really been um, a recovery focused day and, and sort of calming down and, and looking to focus onto that next game. But um, everyone everyone wants to replicate that feeling that we had um, so I think yeah for us for us moving into this, I guess the biggest game in our careers um, everyone's excited and it's I, I mean it's hard to put into words sometimes but um, yeah I think everyone is still keen to write more in our history book did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.